Hey everyone, Josh here again with JF Blades for another short little video. Uh, it's a cold day up here in Sonora in the shop and rain outside so we uh, we had to do a shop video but I figured that'd be a good time to do this and uh, it's just going to be a quick video of my shop and uh, of my models of my knives. So follow me around here, we'll just start at the beginning. First off, I want to take a quick scan of my shop just to show how big it is. Pretty small shop, nothing crazy, no fancy real fancy machines but this is where it all comes from so to start I got uh, kind of my cleaner station here uh, smaller parts and whatnot where I do a lot of my drawing a lot of my finer stuff like uh, etching marking things like that moving on to my heat treat oven obviously you know to heat treat the steel and all of that good stuff um, small tool bench or toolbox sorry uh, old stools from here I got my kydex station uh, and my clean station another clean station pretty much this whole bench is my clean side uh, my, my glue up my kydex my clean fresh belts handle materials shipping boxes fresh kydex all that good stuff so that's where I kind of keep it and you know, all that kind of stuff this is my uh, island station where um, more, a little bit more of the dirty work gets done. Buffing, uh, toaster oven, I don't really use that too much anymore. Drill press, drilling holes, Dremel. Keep all of my stock, my hand materials, and steel down there. That's a mess because we just cut that up yesterday, but that's where I keep it all, grinder parts. Over here, getting more messy, sandblaster. Um, air compressor where I do most of the, the quick grinding cut off materials and whatnot and then over here is the real dirty side you got the small band saw which I use to cut materials and whatnot and then this is obviously my grinder that I do 80% of the work on if not more so that is what grinds bevels and everything else on the knife and uh, People have never seen one for it, you know, it's a pretty cool machine. It hasn't got any belts on it right now or anything, but yep. So that's the shop, that's where I do it all, and now we'll get to my models. Show you some of my models. Alright, back for part two of the video. Um, we're gonna do the overview of my models. Uh, all these are in different stages. Some are finished, some are customer models I'm working on. So obviously, this one doesn't isn't even close, so what I want to show is the uh, in-hand shots. First off, this is my Necker model. Um, this is my smallest model, and it's made for utility and hunting and things like that. Um, you can see how big it is in the hand. It's my acid stone wash finish, OD green linen micarta scalloped. Uh, carbon fiber pins, A2 tool steel, just like all of them. All right. Next is my it's called my PCC model, and I really designed this as a as a uh, concealed weapon for an instructor up here. But um, it's really lended itself well to um, also utility, and a lot of hunters like this model for the sweep to the belly and the point for a small skinning knife. Um, you can see it really locks into the hand great. You use the ramp. It's a push. None, this doesn't have an edge and neither does that one either. So, Just a side note. So yeah, this is, this is black canvas micarta standard. Next is my, this is a uh, complete knife. Uh, this is my Hybrid 2.0, probably one of my most popular models. Um, you can kind of get an idea. This has green and black um, canvas micarta, scalloped, acid stone washing. The size, it's a medium sized knife fits in the hand great, lends itself well to 
obviously a lot of different tasks as well. Okay. Kydex sheath comes with my horizontal clip that I make. Retention always is snaps. Not gonna fall out of there at all. Made for function, not for beauty really. But um try to make them look as good as possible as well. That's the whole goal. Next is my hybrid hunter. Um, this one's obviously in the middle of being worked on, not completely ground or anything yet, but the overall size of this one, the idea behind this one was to have a, a big game knife that can handle taking down game and has a longer handle to it. I designed it with a more sweep to the belly and to the back of the spine. Um, I have medium sized hands and it has quite a bit extra on the end and I like a long handle especially when you're working you know in the field uh, not quite a four inch blade just a great all around and it, it's not just for hunting either that's what I designed it for but it, drop point designs just like all of these work great for everything they're functional they're um, strong they just lend themselves to work well in all different areas so that's the overall size you can see this is a, a model that hasn't been named yet and it's is actually mine uh, it's a larger hunting model and um, has the acid stone wash as well green and black micarta handles um, just a note before I go to all the way to the end I won't be using screws anymore. All my handles will be held with epoxy pins, uh, epoxy and corby bolts, pretty much completely sealed up. Um, but I've used this on two deer. Uh, I have not sharpened it, still razor sharp. I've only stropped it up to maintain the edge and it's worked great. I like this size for an all around outdoor blade. Um, this is just under a four and a half inch blade. It's pretty much a full cutting edge. I put a small relief choil in there and you can see how big the handle is. Again, feels great in the hand. It's lightweight because I use my eighth inch stock. Very strong. I went through two rib cages, pelvic bone, um, and obviously quartering and everything else that goes into processing game. And that's what it still looks like. This one will be refined. I'm changing small things on it and the final model will be named obviously and put up and I'll let everyone know when that's available. But the general size will be very close. Same thing. This is how I carry it. Not coming out of there. Horizontal clip goes right here. This is where I carry mine. But you can reverse this clip to either side and carry it this way this way on your back whatever way you'd really want to carry it I also if um, I do some with a vertical carry but for the most part horizontal carry is the best way I think so yeah that is the overview of my models and kind of what they look like in the hand and how they what they I designed them for so um, if you have any questions or you see it on social media and you want to know come check this video out and you can see them in hand and kind of what they look like before so thanks a lot we'll be back with some more videos all right